continue. Up to here, we find x bar minus y bar, the observed difference between x bar and y bar is 9.96. Plus or minus critical t value times 4.31. So our next job is to find the t star, the critical t value on the table. Now we're gonna use two tables, okay? The first table, this table here, okay? With 20 degree of freedom, with 20 degree of freedom, This is 21, so this is 20. I move the finger horizontal. I stop when I see 2.086. Why I stop here? Because when I move up, I find this is what? 95% confidence level. This is very really easy to find what? To find the critical T value. Is that okay? Now, if you use the table, this one, okay? How are you going to find the critical T value to build 95% confidence interval? First one, you move your finger to 20 degree of freedom. And then you move what? Horizontally. All the way up to 2.086. You stop here. Why you stop here? Because you move up, you find the upper tail is what? To the right, right upper tail is 2.5%. Then what does that mean? Let's look at this picture, okay? Two point zero eight six. The corresponding right tail, the upper tail, is two point five percent, and t distribution center at zero, and by symmetric, the other point is minus two point zero eight six. So from two point zero eight six to minus zero point two eight six, the lower tail two point five percent, the upper tail is also two point five percent. So from here to here, cover the middle ninety five percent. So to construct 95% confidence interval for the unknown population parameter mu x minus mu y, the critical t value is 2.086. This is how you're going to use what? This table. Is that okay?